on my Your songs are pretty deep. Sure. If I can say that. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Is, it, is it hard to sing that? Not anymore so no. much. No. Uh, I'd say I don't know if it ever really was. It was it was always kind of I mean, it's like an, it is an outpouring of certain things, and it's and it does come from like sometimes a quite a dark place. Yeah. But then it's it's a uh, it's part of a whole process that is actually quite good for me. So in a sense, it's like it's it's quite helpful to be singing them anyway. But um, but in in terms of like sharing that with other people, it, it it's it's a, it's a bit icky sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't I don't mind it so much anymore because everyone brings the songs into their own lives and they they take what they will from them and and that's that's actually I love it when that happens because when I you know playing playing shows now, I'm aware that these songs mean more to a lot of other people than maybe they even do to me anymore because. Yeah. Uh, the stuff that is contained in them is way, way in the past. So all that the stuff that might make it difficult is kind of disappearing with, you know, the, the grind of touring. For me personally, I like, you know, they're sad. They, they feel sad, but mm -hmm. they make me feel good. That's it, that's nice to hear. You know, does that work for you? Da well, or I always, as dark as things can get, I always like to throw a, like a, a little chink of light at the end of each song. So I think there's hope for a start. I always try and get hope there in the end, and uh, and always and always the idea is, look, you know, it's it's bad right now, but it's not that bad. And also, and also, you know, there is there's pleasure to be taken in that side of life. I think as well. I think I think it's a level of feeling that if you've had that as well, then there's something to relate to, and maybe that's what makes people feel good. Is that it's like a kind of you know, a friend, if you will. Midnight Organ Fight. Uh, it has dark elements. I, I, I would say it's a, in, in many ways, it's a hopeful one, though. Yeah. I'd, I, I'd like to think. Well, the cripple walks amongst you all, you tired human beings. He's got all things a cripple has not to working arms and legs. And parts apart from his system dissolve in Scottish rain. But vitally he doesn't miss me, he's too fucked up to care. There's this whole resolutely indie kind of feeling to certain bands and music that I I personally can can stomach for only so long before it starts to feel smug and I don't think I don't think there's anything smug about our music and there's nothing um, I'm not I'm not trying to make people feel stupid when I'm, I'm trying to include people in, in what I do and, and and if you're some sort of exclusive club I think that's uh, it's not so healthy yeah it's well put, actually. I, I, I love I love that somebody has said that. So I, I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Jeez, it's nice to hear. <laughs> what comes first? The, the situation and then the hopefulness or the song and the hopefulness? Yeah, interesting. I never write in the moment as such. So like when I'm feeling particularly uh, dark, if you will, or introspective, um, I don't really do much writing. I like to try and tail reach the tail end of it and then that's the point where I'm starting to lift anyway so once so maybe I start writing at the tail end of this particularly bad time and, uh, and in that sense I can have enough like distance from it that I can I'm able to see it for what it is and and then so yeah but the song shapes it this I mean you're right I've never really thought about how the song the writing of the song shapes the arc that it takes as well because you know towards the end everything's I mean, we tend to write, I tend to like arrange things in a, in a such a way that everything's in at the end, musically, like it's all, everything's clamoring at the end and it reaches this crescendo and I think lyrically, the arc has to be the same. So yeah, the, the songs help me to find that particular ray of light, I guess. Interesting. Hmm. Never been asked that before. That's cool. Jesus is just Spanish boy whose name How come one man got so much fame? Are you indifferent to love at times? Mm. Nah, never indifferent to it, no? 
sick of it. I don't know, <laughs> but <coughs> I don't think it's something. I think it's if it's something you're in, if it's a feeling you're indifferent to, then um, then it's not necessarily love anymore. I don't know. It's just like there's this notion of male solitude. Or something, sure, right? Um, yeah. In that sense, have you been indifferent to to it at times, or or is that or not needed to, it? You mean? Well, not even mm. needed it, and then. Like you said, being sick of it. I mean, do, do you struggle with those two dynamics? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, yeah. Right now, I mean, it's been it's it's provided me with some of the finest and, and worst moments of my life. So in that sense, I can I can. Sometimes I felt like I wished I wished I just was some you know I don't know I wished I was a player or something like that. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. Uh, I just it's not really in me though. So I I I, I get involved quickly and. And fast and, and pretty, um, pretty fall pretty hard, I guess you could say. Yeah. So indifference, it doesn't really come into it. Yeah. So you can find me. are going to start recording soon or have you it's done yeah yeah it's, it's done yeah we have it oh, with you're us you're probably dying to talk <laughs> <laughs> well yeah I, I when i tell everyone they're always kind of like surprised um we just i got back i took from tour like we did a we did a good, good year-ish of tour last year and um got back took a week and a half off and just started going for it so it's, it's recorded and we're mixing it next week in connecticut oh. so um yeah it's uh i'm excited about it, it, it it's different it's still it's it's maybe less about me as such. Uh, it's still about a character. I think I've characterized it a little more and fictionalized things. And maybe in that sense, it's more open um, to people kind of to walk into it and, and, and make it their own than the last one was. Although, I, I don't know, I hope the last one was still like, able, able, people were able to, to make it their own. Can you give me a hint of maybe uh, what you're addressing? If well, you I'm mind. really, I am full, it's, 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 it's like full of, uh, like imagery to do with the sea. I wrote it out by the sea. You're oh, yeah. talking of like male solitude. I went for my male solitude yeah. for like a, a month and a half. Oh, you did? Yeah, and and, and the solitude came into it, and uh, and it, and it's worked its way into the song. And in, in terms of, it, it seems to be all about a kind of like like an Odyssey style journey for a for a, and it's definitely a male character, like not to like uh, alienate the, 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 <laughs> the female population, but it's it's a male thing. I think a lot of the time is this crisis point. Which, which seems, which I, you know, I am ashamed to say, it seemed to get a little bit of a kick out of, you know, going slightly insane, and you're like, this is, well, this is horrible, but it's great because I'm really, I'm really dis discovering things about myself, yeah. and I'm like, you know, it's, it's like, it's not actually, it turns out it's not that cool, but it was, uh, it's to do with that, and it's to do with, well, whether you use actual geography and disappear yourself, or whether you use like some sort of stimulant to lose your mind, or whether you just like stay inside for ages um, it's about solitude and it's about losing and becoming insane in some way or another